In this scenario, four commercial passenger jets take off as scheduled. Here is a timeline of this theory. At 8.30 a.m. in the alternate theory, a rogue plane painted to look like the real thing assumes the flight path of American Airlines 11, which is diverted to a secret airfield controlled by the military in Pennsylvania. At 8.46 a.m., another rogue plane swaps with the real American Airlines 77, at this same time, rogue American Airlines 11 hits the North Tower of the World Trade Center. 8.53 a.m., rogue United 175 takes on the flight path of United Airlines 175. Meanwhile, American Airlines 11 lands at the secret airfield. 9.02 a.m., Rogue United Airlines 175 strikes the South Tower of the World Trade Center. As the real United Airlines 175 lands. 37 a.m. Rogue American Airlines 77 passes over the Pentagon and a fighter jet or cruise missile under remote control crashes into the west side. 10.06 a.m., United Airlines 93 is shot down, eliminating all innocent witnesses. This timeline accounts for many things, but like the other conspiracy theories, it has at least one major flaw. It would require a very large number of people to succeed. For 9-11 to have been a conspiracy, we would be talking about several thousand people having to be involved. We'd be talking about people in the military, we'd be talking about people in the police, we're talking about people in the New York City government, people in the national government, people for the airlines, we'd be talking about relatives of some of those who were supposed to have phoned, officials at national uh, city and statewide, those who were responsible subsequently for intimidating other witnesses out of talking. We'd be talking about the demolition teams who were sent into the towers. We'd be talking about the people who let them into the towers in the first place, who saw them go in and decided not to uh, give witness afterwards. Thousands and thousands of people. So obviously the, the US government has a long history of being involved in all kinds of shenanigans and dishonest things, but this is so far beyond the pale. This would be a conspiracy that would have to involve thousands, if not tens of thousands of people, and it, it, it involved the slaughter of five or 6,000 people, and it, there were just so many moving parts, and that's just not the way that conspiracies work in real life. It's too massive and too messy, and, and, and it just involves too many people for them to pull off successfully.